Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to see some great drugstore makeup. Yes, that's right. Today I'll be showing you the new Revlon Candid Foundation line with their foundation, their concealer, and their powders. And I'll also be showing you a lot of products from All May. I received many of these products complimentary as PR, but as you'll see in this video, I give my 100% honest opinions. Some of the products I really loved and some of the products not so much. But I use these products to create this makeup look. And so let me take off this makeup and I'll show you how it works. Okay, here we are up close and personal and I'm so excited to use this. I've used it actually for the last two or three mornings and I really like it. This color is a little bit light for me. It's their vanilla color, but I really do like this foundation. It is really a foundation that nulls out pores and it gives me a lot of full coverage without overdoing it to where it looks cakey. Let's go ahead and put this all over my forehead. <laughs> I guess I will do that. Put a little bit down on my neck. Always have to blend down to the neck. And this is a foundation that a lot of people on YouTube have been raving about, and I really see why. It's amazing, in the last year or so, we have seen so many great drugstore foundations come out that are like 10 and $12. I think this is around the $10 price point. I'm not sure, but I'll put it below in the description box. And you can investigate it for yourself if you would like to. But look how beautifully that covers. Absolutely just a very skin-like finish, but it covers up all the little imperfections in your skin and also does not leave you with that really matte old lady look. <laughs> I'm beginning to think that I like more radiance in a foundation than I used to. When I was younger, I really liked the mattes because I have very oily skin in general. Certainly when I was younger, I did. I had acne until I was like 52 years old. It was horrible, but my mother always told me, someday, honey, you're gonna be appreciative of your oily skin because you will age very nicely and you won't wrinkle as much as some people. And you know, I guess it is a trade-off. All of those years of horrible pimples, traded for not too many wrinkles now, which I like that. Look at that beautiful finish. I don't know if you can see that, but it really is very, very pretty. Now we'll go in with the Revlon Candid Antioxidant Concealer. And again, this color is a little bit light for me. I think this is the banana, <laughs> 001 banana. There it is. And I'll just go ahead and put that there. And I'm still wrestling with my nose surgery incision. That is a whole different story, and I will tell you about that in a future video. Uh, we're even going to it right now. And as the name banana implies, look at the pretty light color that that gives me under my eyes. Isn't that pretty? It just kind of brightens things up. Really, really like that. Now, if you don't have a lot to cover under your eyes, maybe a few dark circles or something like that, this would be a very, very nice full coverage concealer. Really like this. Just go above your eyelids a little bit if you want to your eyeshadow primer out a little bit. Before I got on camera this morning, I used the Urban Decay Primer Potion, and I like it, but I don't think it's any better than the Milani eyeshadow primer, and it is a lot more expensive. I got it on sale at Ultra's 50% off sale for $12, so I thought, oh, I'll try it. But it was not anything to write home about. Now I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Peach Colored Corrector Stick, just to help on that little incision area. Peach just kind of blends out any black tones that you have, any shadows. And if you do have big bags, the Peach Corrector Six may be helpful for you. Now to set the under eye area and all of the kind of shiny areas on my face, I'm going to go in with this Revlon New Photo Ready Candid Loose Powder. Absolutely love this powder. I've been using all of this makeup for about the past three days and like much of it. And there's how it looks. And you get just as much as you do in a high-end powder. Ooh, it's a little dusty there. Makes me want to sneeze. And I go ahead and powder the eyelids too. And I'll just go in the T-zone here. Now let's get into the brows and I'm going to go ahead and get the foundation off my eyebrows. And I've been using a brow product called, I can't remember what it's called, but it, it, it is growing my brows, the tails of my brows. And again, if you're not a subscriber and you'd like to see that, then please subscribe and you'll get an email about that video. This is the All May Brow Styler in Soft Brown. And I really do need something like this because I have some grays in my brows and I need something to cover that up. Now this does not have a little tip on the end. So this is not ideal for me. 
I would need a little brow pencil just to fill in that little tail challenge area there. I don't know if you can see it, but I have a, a long gray hair there. And this, this does just cover it up very nicely. And I think this is a very, very natural color, very soft color. Maybe I don't need to use anything additional on those tails. I'll just kind of draw that in a little bit. There we go. Okay, now let's get into the eyeshadow. And All May sent me two of these wonderful little smoky eye trios. And I have been using them and I really like them. They go on well, they blend beautifully. And it also has its own set of instructions built in just the way they have these shadows arranged. Let's see, I've used the neutral one. I like that one, but let's go in and use the one with some purple. And the funny thing is about this purple, it doesn't really look purple once you get it applied to your eyes, which at my grown up years, I really don't like the idea of doing too much purple. I know some women do, and purple is supposed to be kind of a magical royal color. So that's always good. Look at how nicely that is going on. Very, very nicely. Very, very nice pigment there. Looks absolutely beautiful. And we could go ahead and apply it exactly as it is in this little package with the brown color all over the lid. But I think I'll do a little bit of a halo eye just to kind of change that out a little bit. So that means we'll go ahead and do a little bit of light in here, right here. And don't rub it on, just pat it on. You don't want fallout, although there's hardly any fallout at all in these little palettes. That's one thing about drugstore eyeshadows is they're made for the mass market, so they're very forgiving and they blend usually very beautifully. And this is no exception to that. I really do like this little trio. Now we'll go ahead and apply that a little bit on the inner corner too, just to give us a little lightness in there. Very nice. Next, I'm going to go in with a shadow brush that I just discovered, and I absolutely love this brush. This is the It Cosmetics Angled Crease Brush and I'll go ahead and do a little bit of this purple color in the crease as they instruct. And I just feel like the angled nature of this crease brush just really helps it almost blend itself out beautifully and you don't really have to do too much to make that happen. It's a very soft brush, wonderful little bristles. I had been looking at this brush in Ulta and I tried it out, I tried the sample out and just loved it. And in Ulta, two times I went and it was out of stock. And finally, I just bit the bullet and went up to the Ulta counter and ordered it. And it is free shipping if they don't have it in the store. So that was really nice because I think this brush was maybe $14 with free shipping. I didn't think that was bad at all. And now I'll just take a little blending brush and kind of blend that out a little bit more on the top there. Very pretty. Now I'm just going to take this little Morphe brush and dip into that brownish color. And we're going to take it a little bit on the inside of the eyelid. We're going to do a little halo. And then on the outside of the eyelid, just in that little V there, do the same on the other side. We're just going to bring that brown a little bit out here in the outer V, as they call it. Bring it up just a little bit. Then we'll just take that little Sigma smudge brush and dip into the purple. We're just going to smoke out the lower lash line. Widen out the V a little bit. Just connect those two. And on my sent me an eyeliner and mascara and I'm going to go ahead and apply these off camera. Okay, the eyes are done, and I did use the All May Liner and the All May Mascara, and I did not like this liner. The minute I applied it, and I've applied it for about three days, the tip of it broke off, and it was very chunky and difficult to apply. It takes a long time. I would say no on the liner. The mascara is good, but it is not a glam glam look, which is what I like. And while I really like the All May eyeshadow palettes, these weren't exactly my favorites. However, when I was preparing to do this face, I found two other All May products that I absolutely love. The first of which is this All May blush, and it is called the All May Powder Blush. I guess that's not very unusual that it would be called All May Powder Blush, because that's what it is. 
Look at that blush, absolutely beautiful. And I have had this for about two weeks and I cannot stop using it. And as a YouTube beauty blogger, I am supposed to use a lot of different things and keep trying new things, but this is so good that I can't turn myself away from it. I'll show you how it works. It does come with a little sponge brush. However, I have not used that yet. I'll go ahead and take my eyeshadow brush and dip into that color. And the reason I really like this is it has a lot of the golden salmon -y colors, but it has a little bit of that fuchsia that I love, but not so much that I make myself look like a clown. I can get a little bit of that hot pink color without overdoing it. And this is an absolutely beautiful natural blush. Look at that color. Very, very natural. Very, very pretty. And I'll put a little bit on my forehead there. It is just so, so pretty. Thank you, Ame, for creating this. I did purchase it myself, but I know it will stay in my faves because it is lovely. And I have been really loving high-end blushes lately. I better stop. I don't want to overdo. But isn't that pretty? Absolutely love that. And my next Ame find is, again, something I purchased myself. And this is the Go Wild Lipstick. And look at that pretty lipstick, too. Just kind of reminds me of long ago when I was a teenager in those boho years, those 1960s, 70 years. And I don't have an Aume lip liner, but I'm going to be using this NYX Lip Liner in Natural, which is one of my favorites. Just go ahead and go around the lip line there. So there's that lip liner. I absolutely love this. Then I'm going to go in with the Go Wild on my lipstick. And at first, I thought this color was too light, but then I realized that I really love it. There's that color, absolutely lovely. And I've been covering that lately with this Nude York Gloss, and this is City Lips, which is supposed to plump your lips, and I really kind of think it does. Just a little bit of a glossy glow. And in looking at my face, I realized that I forgot something that I always do on my eyes. And this is not an all May product, but I love this. This is the Ultimate Brow Highlighter. It's a wet and wild stick, and it's under $5. And I just go in in the waterline here. And as you can see, it's really brightened up that eye compared to the other eye. And if you have small eyes like I do and want to brighten them up, this little stick really helps. Now I think I'm going to go in with a little of this L'Oreal Bronze It, just a little bit in the cheekbone area, and maybe a little bit on the forehead. Those Revlon Candid products were gorgeous. I love them, but I think the color that I used, that vanilla, was a little bit light for me. So we'll just go ahead and add a little bit of bronzer, a little bit of color. This L'Oreal bronze it is absolutely beautiful. Maybe a little bit down the sides of the nose. I used it a little bit as a contour and it just gives you a little bit more glow. Well, that was a look at a full face of drugstore cosmetics and I really liked many of them. First, the Revlon Candid Foundation, Concealer, and Powder. Love those. And then the All May products. Love the eyeshadow. Not as wild about the mascara and liner, but absolutely love this blush. And All May also sent me two other products that I've really been enjoying. The first is this eye makeup remover, and they say this is America's number one brand. And these are little eye makeup remover pads, and I've been using them all week, and I love them. I think they may replace out the CoverGirl oil that I've been using to remove my eye makeup. Fabulous product. And amazingly, these little eye makeup mistake sticks, I don't know what they're called, they look just like little Q-tips, but unlike Q-tips, which are fuzzy on the top and bottom, these are not fuzzy, and I really like them, and when I was messing with that eyeliner and I had a few mistakes, these sticks were wonderful at cleaning that up. Now, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things to look your best after the age of 50 or 40 in our second half, then I hope you'll consider subscribing, and when you click that little bell, that just sends you email notifications of my future videos, and if you could give this video a thumbs up, that would be great too. Now, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and these are the Melody Beatty cards called The Language of Letting Go. Let's see what God has in store for us to think about for today. Ooh, standing firmly in my truth. Standing firmly in my truth. Love this card, ladies. Today, I will acknowledge that my knowledge, feelings, and beliefs are all mine, and they're just as valid as anyone else's. I'm open to learning from others and their experiences, but I will stand firmly in my own truth. 
Oh friends, I absolutely love this card and it is so funny because this is something I'm going through right now. I've made a rather radical change in my diet and done some things which are a little off the beaten path and part of me was like, do I really want to share this with people? And then I realized, no, that is my own truth, the things that I'm doing in terms of my diet and on this channel, I really want to be of maximum use to everyone out there in their second half. And while it's nice to be continually showing makeup and continually helping us to try to look a little bit younger or at least to look our best, in the second half, health is the most important thing. And so my channel is going to be switching a little bit more into the health-related direction. Of course, I love hair, makeup, and beauty, and that will never end. But I am going to be sharing some health-related information with you because in the second half, if you have your health, you have everything. So friends, just for today, let's remember to stand in our own truth because when we do that day by day by day, we're more authentic and we can be of maximum value to others. Take care. See you next time.